Law enforcement members around the nation are revising their strategies for how to deal with political rallies, rallies following the events in Charlottesville. And while there have been protests in Roanoke over the last few years, they haven't been violent. WSOS 10's Tommy Lopez talked to police and city leaders about their planning in this 10 News crime track. <laughs> After the Charlottesville protests, police all around the country are preparing for possible rallies. The Roanoke Police Department says it's analyzing the best ways to keep large crowds calm and has been doing so for years. Captain Rick Morrison says there's a balance when trying to maintain control. When people bring violence to an event, there's no winners. The police are stuck in a corner to where if you do too much, you get criticized, you do too less, you get criticized. Morrison says it can be difficult to both prevent aggression and make sure demonstrators can exercise their free speech rights. Just sorting out who belongs to which group and who's doing what can be tough for police. In those split seconds of time, law enforcement has to decide who is here legally, who is not here lawfully, who's throwing the rocks, who's built burning buildings. He says Roanoke officers go through de-escalation training, learning how to calm people down. He says that doesn't work, though, with people he calls professional rioters, people who want to commit violence. If they are hell-bent on getting to that area to cause harm and destruction, guess what? They will get there. City leaders like Councilman John Garland say the path forward involves conversations. We've had a lot of good community discussions here of late where we've talked about racism, we've talked about poverty, and I, for one, would like to continue those conversations. Discussions about more than symbols. You can remove statutes and you can remove books and names off buildings, but until you remove hate from your heart, this is what you're going to have. Morrison says two Roanoke lieutenants were working with police in Charlottesville during the protests, and their insights have influenced planning in the Star City. In Roanoke, Tommy Lopez, WSLS 10.